A cryptid is a sort of animal that some people believe to be real, despite the fact that its existence is disputed or unproven. Sometimes these are animals that science believes are extinct but that people believe are still alive. Sometimes they are mythological creatures that science has proven never existed, but people still hope to find them. Most cryptids are rapidly dismissed by science, and individuals who research them, known as cryptozoologists, are frequently mocked. Yet, numerous high-profile cryptids, such as the big squid and mountain gorilla, have been shown to exist over time. Here are some of the most well-known cryptids that we are still looking for. Bigfoot is one of the best known and most frequently seen cryptids in the world. Bigfoot, also known as the Sasquatch, is said to be an ape-like monster native to North American woodlands. Bigfoot is supposed to weigh more than 500 pounds and to stand anywhere from 7 to 10 feet tall. When a bulldozer operator named Jerry Cruz spotted a set of enormous human-like tracks in Humboldt County, California, in 1958, the contemporary fascination with locating Bigfoot began. As he told his co-workers about his discovery, they all had similar experiences, and the creature was subsequently dubbed Bigfoot by the entire crew. The news was picked up by the press, and the rest is history. But the legend of Bigfoot dates back much further. Many indigenous tribes in North America have myths of huge, hair-covered humanoid monsters that lurk in the forest. A tribe known as the Yokuts in Central California started creating drawings of what people now believe to be a family of Bigfoots 1,000 years ago. In the 16th and 17th centuries, European colonists who settled in California reported seeing Los Vigilantes or Dark Watchers starking them in the woodlands. While this all seems encouraging, it is vital to emphasize that there are significant variations between these ostensibly corroborated historical accounts. The Bigfoots of various tribes differed substantially. Some were depicted as essentially passive observers while others were characterized as monsters and demons who were thought to take unlucky tribes people as they slept. Many claim to have seen Bigfoot every year, and several dubious photographs of the creature have been taken over the years. Ray Wallace's family, a member of the 1958 team, disclosed in 2002 that their father had perpetrated a trick on his crew by leaving the tracks on carved wooden feet. The Loch Ness Monster of Lake Ness in Scotland is another contender for the title of most renowned cryptid. The Loch Ness Monster, like Bigfoot, has a much older story than most people realize. The Loch Ness Monster is typically shown as a big, long-necked creature with one or more protruding humps on its back. Because sightings and images are, to put it mildly, sporadic, adding additional description is difficult. The monster, colloquially known as Nessie, is frequently represented as looking like a dinosaur. The Loch Ness Monster tale dates back to the 6th century AD. The first recorded report of a Loch Ness Monster appears in the life of St. Columba, written by the Scottish abbot Abdomen. The text describes how an Irish monk, St. Columba, and his companions were exploring the area when they discovered some natives burying a man adjacent to the river Ness. The residents described how the man was swimming when he was assaulted by a bizarre aquatic beast. They had tried and failed to save him. St. Columba did the only thing he could think of and told one of his disciples, Loon Mockumen, to swim across the river. When the beast attacked his friend, Columba made the sign of the cross and drove the beast away. Mr. D. McKenzie reported witnessing a log or upturned boat wriggling and churning up the water in the late 1800s, which sparked more recent stories of a lake monster. The shape began to drive itself over the surface as he watched it wiggle. In 1888, 
Alexander McDonald reported witnessing a big stubby-legged monster swimming along the lock's shore. These encounters prompted the lock's water bailiff, Alex Campbell, to write an article on the monster in the Inverness Courier in 1933. Sightings poured in over the next few years, with the first supposed photograph of the monster obtained in 1934. These sightings fueled the current obsession with finding Nessie. That shot, for example, served as evidence for 60 years before being totally disproved and called an elaborate fabrication in 1994. Hardly anything in the photograph made sense. However, this hasn't stopped some people from believing. Every year, travelers flock to Loch Ness in the hopes of making a name for themselves by photographing the monster. The Chupacabra isn't as well known as our first two entries, but it's on its way. This relative newcomer to the cryptid list was initially spotted in 1995 and has subsequently erupted in popular culture. But what exactly is it? Descriptions, on the other hand, differ greatly. The chupacabra is sometimes described as reptilian or alien-like. It is usually a huge monster, about the size of a large dog or a small bear. According to reports, it has a row of spines running from its back to its tail. In the southwestern United States, it is most commonly believed to have the form of a dog. The name Goat Sucker stems from the fact that the creature is said to be vampiric in nature. According to legend, the chupacabra attacks and then drinks the blood of livestock such as cows and goats. Efforts have been made to link the creature to indigenous people's legends, but they have proved unconvincing at best. Instead, all evidence suggests that the creature is a contemporary creation. The chupacabra appears to be an example of a modern monster narrative gone awry. The monster was originally seen in 1995, when Madeline Tolentino reported sighting it in Caravanas, Puerto Rico. The area has seen a rash of animal killings, with a sheep discovered dead with puncture scars in their abdomens and utterly bloodless many months earlier. Immediately after Tolentino's tale was published, chupacabras were observed not only in the United States, but also in South America and as far away as India. A chupacabra was reported anywhere there was an unexplained animal fatality. These animal deaths in the Caravanas area were subsequently linked to animal homicides in Puerto Rico dating back to 1975, which were originally attributed to Satanists, another outlandish conspiracy theory. Chupacabra mania gripped the world, and the mayor of Caravanas went so far as to organize an armed posse of 200 people to track down the beast. Quite a few chupacabras have been shot and killed over the years. These have universally turned out to be wild dogs or coyotes with a serious case of mange. It also turns out that Miss Tolentino's description of the chupacabra is an identical match to the creature from the horror movie Species, a film she had seen immediately before the incident. In fact, Tolentino admits that she sincerely believed that the events of the film were happening in her small village. This makes her reliability as a witness somewhat doubtful. The Mothman, like the Chupacabra, is a more recent addition to the list of cryptids. It's also comparable in that it appears to be both a cryptid and a modern monster story rolled into one. Most cryptids resemble known creatures in some way adding to their credibility. Perhaps Nessie is a dinosaur family that has somehow survived. Perhaps Bigfoot is an extremely unusual example of a great ape native to North America, and so forth. The Mothman, on the other hand, defies this trend. It is described as a gigantic, man-sized creature with moat wings and flashing red eyes. Sightings of the monster extend back to 1966 and 1967 in the West Virginia towns of Charleston and Point Pleasant. 
On November 15, 1966, a young couple from Point Pleasant reported to the authorities that a big, white, winged monster with crimson eyes was blocking the road. When they escaped in their car, they claimed the thing pursued them all the way to the city limits. During the next few days, other residents reported seeing the same monster, which the local sheriff identified as Shite Poke, a very huge and violent heron. In 1967, the Silver Bridge in the vicinity collapsed, killing 46 people. Locals reported sighting the Mothman before and after the fall. Some linked it to the disaster or blamed it for it. The Mothman has survived in modern pop culture thanks to the book series The Mothman Chronicles and its blockbuster film version. The Mothman Festival is held in Point Pleasant every year, and the creature has become somewhat of a local celebrity. It was even given its own statue. A list of notable cryptids would be incomplete without discussing the Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman. The Yeti looks strikingly similar to the Bigfoot. It is supposed to be a big, ape-like biped that lives in Nepal and Tibet's mountains. While the Yeti became popular in the 20th century, its history dates back much further. For hundreds of years, Central Asian legend has described monsters that resemble the Yeti. Traditional mythology, as well as the majority of reported eyewitness accounts, describe the Yeti as having dark colored fur, yet pop culture has transformed the Yeti into something white for some reason. Contemporary sightings began in the 1800s when Westerners began climbing the Himalayas for the first time. Many of these climbers claimed to have discovered enormous primate tracks in the snow that were far too large to be human. These sightings persisted throughout the 1800s and 1900s, with some mountaineers claiming to have been stalked by the Yeti. As the Yeti gained fame, other high-profile hoaxes emerged including the famously falsified film produced by a Fox television show. But not everyone believes the Yeti is a fabrication. Many claim to have seen the beast every year. Even the US government has gotten involved, issuing a document describing official restrictions on Yeti hunting. These all appear too unbelievable to be true. In retrospect, most cryptids discovered were not particularly remarkable. Gorillas living in the mountains, not particularly frightening or scary. It's simple to dismiss the cryptids on this list.